It's time now for a recap of some of the stories that have people talking this week. Uh, we are keeping you in the know. It's a segment that we call, Have, have You, you heard? heard? And let's get it started with a new Have You Heard, in case you just turned in, tuned in. There is a brand new member of our Atlanta and Company family. There she is. <laughs> Beautiful baby girl Kinnear was born this morning. No confirmation on the name just yet, but she came into this world at about 10.36 a.m. We got the word approximately one minute before airtime. Uh, Kara sent me a text. I was crying saying how gorgeous she is. Where did Kara learn to do that? Uh, ha hair wrap, that hair cute wrap. little hat. Kara, Mimi and I want to know, is that something you've been working on? Right. When you've been claiming you don't know anything about yes. little girls, well, that is perfection. Because day one, since she yes. found out about baby girl and, and let go of the boy mom thing, yes. she was like, I'm going to put her in a little turban. Yes. And she did. And she, that's and she all she it. wanted is those pictures with the turban, and she looked so beautiful. Gorgeous. And Newborn then she turban. said, oh, I turned on the show, and the nurses were so confused. She like like they're thinking, why are you like having to watch TV active. right at this moment? She's very. Oh Kara is just a multitasker. Yes. But we are so thrilled. So thrilled. Um, so Trent has already clearly posted the picture, <laughs> so we're all so excited. I, yeah, I texted producer Haley. I was like, is it okay if it's on social already? Yes. I know. Yes. Oh my god, Look but we have to put it on air. Okay, and there y'all. She started feeling mm. contractions at two. Oh Would you look at this beautiful rock star of a mom Gorgeous. and look at that baby? We don't have the confirmation, as I said, of the name, but Trent and I, I know. know what she wanted to name her, and we're just going to try not to say the name. And it's going to be great. It's going to be sick. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay, what so let's dive into our story. So, guys, um, have you heard of a mom who's actually refusing to pay thousands of dollars for a piece of art that her daughter broke at an open house? The mom actually took to Reddit to ask for advice and explained she, her husband, and four-year-old were viewing a home for sale in the neighborhood when their daughter picked up some sort of mask no, off a coffee table. You and before the mom could get to the child, the mask had a crack down the middle of it. Okay, so now the mom is I'm refusing to pay for a number of reasons, including thinking that mask should not have been left out by the homeowner. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And the homeowner is just trying to, quote, guilt money out of her. So we've got some comments. Uh, Karen says, as parents, we are responsible for our children's actions. If my kid broke it and they prove the value, I would pay it, even if it included a payment plan. And Karen, I couldn't have said it any better myself. There Do the go. right thing, Trent. We also heard from Michelle. I agree. If you insist on taking your children, watch them. Watch them because it, it, we have to remember it's not just a night out with your friends no. at a nice home. It's an open house. It's an open house. Yes. Okay. And you have a rowdy four-year-old just <laughs> scrambling and touching things and no, greasy you, no, hands. No, you cannot. I absolutely <laughs> yeah. would do the right thing. And um, Karen, I agree with you. Yes. Yeah. Um, when, so when it comes to like, if you were putting the house for sale, you you hide all the valuables when it comes to. I mean, her, let me think about what we did. This is a well, little bit on the um, homeowner. No. It, no, I don't know. We, no. You guys weigh in. I'm trying to think when we did list our house. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you put s certain valuables, but yeah. I mean, this was something that was part of the decor, Trent. You should be able to leave it out. Okay. It was an okay. accessory. So the kid, it's yes. on the, yeah, apparently I'm sorry. the kid. It's on the kid. Okay. Okay, Can't next up, but of course, oh. weigh in. Yes. All right, moving on now. Have you heard? There's a new study that proves it's worth your time to drive around and actually look for a good parking spot. Believe it or not, it's better to hunt for an amazing parking spot than just grab the first one you see and walk. Over the course of your life, you'll save more time by going for better spots. What kind of parker are you, we want to know, at ACL Co. <laughs> I, I don't know. This is kind of a weird study. Uh -huh. uh, first of all, I think because I've heard from so many doctors who come on this show that, of course, to get your exercise, go ahead and park a little bit far away. Yeah. You know, go for a little stroll. Love my steps. So if I'm by myself, I will yeah. do that also because I get so many door dings mm -hmm. from my children parking next yeah. to Jim in the garage, door ding central, yeah. that I'll at least try to park far, far away so I don't get additional door dings. But Makes sense. What is the point of driving around <laughs> have to do? It seems like yeah, a little waste of time. Study. I don't know. Yeah. Got to get closer. Okay. Yeah. We have a lot of compact spot, spots at this very station, yeah. and it, it gets dangerous out there. It does. It's but like a wild free-for-all, and we have a producer, Michelle, who's a very good parker. I am not. I am I'm not a good parker. I, I struggle with the parallel. Yeah, you do. <laughs> see they're all like, okay, Trent, focus, and I just Trent, I get I will help rigid you. on the wheel. As you know, yeah. I'm not a great driver, okay. but I did learn how to parallel park. 
Oh, San Francisco keeps coming up in the streets of San Francisco, so and I can yeah. maneuver like that. And I will I'm, help okay. you. See, I'm everything just a else, kid from Texas, y'all. Yeah, I know. Mm. Everything else, avoid me <laughs> yeah. at all costs when you see my car. Okay. Okay. Next up. Whoa, we are blowing up on our Facebook page about this. We are. Have you heard? There's a new debate lighting up all of social media, especially ours. Which Halloween candy is the worst? This That's photo right. right here is circling around. It says one has to go forever. We have options Snickers, Reese's Cups, Milky Way, Kit Kat, M&M's, and Twix. Which one would you choose? We have it up on our Facebook page, y'all. The comments were flooding in. Uh, we heard from Ron, I think, and I loved them all because Milky Way was the consensus. Get rid of Milky Way. I was just going to say, Mimi, what would I say? Yep, Milky Way. It's a trash candy. It's a trash candy. Ron said it's so formless. It's the scaffolding of a better candy bar. Nobody bothered to complete. Oh, <laughs> scaffolding, wow. Ron. Ron. What did Tammy have to say? Tammy says there's no substance. It's one of those candies you find left in the box of chocolates that no one wanted. I agree. <laughs> Ruth, and Ruth I came to the defense though. She said you only oh, leave Milky Way alone. No. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Watch uh -oh. out. Wait, hold on. Danielle has said Reese's for sure. <gasps> No. The girl doesn't like peanut butter. Well, there you go. Which but I love peanut butter. I can eat it with a spoon. Me right? too. If I, I lived in the age of elementaries that can't have peanut butter at lunch, I would literally no. kill myself. No. Yeah, and let me tell you, it's many, many, yes. many, many years of no PB and J. Well, that is so rough. And you know I love that Baskin Robbins peanut yes, butter and chocolate, chocolate ice cream. I bought some pints, not yeah. pints, gallons. And I sent a picture Gallons. to the producers of me eating from it, You'll grossing them out. I was saying, I'm so stressed when Kara's going to have this baby. I'm eating. I know. My children stressed. walked in, and they were like, Mom, what are you doing? That's gross. I was like, I'm just finishing it up. If your little girls had a peanut allergy, would you just be like, man up? <laughs> yeah. Toughen. Like not in this house, yes. honey. Yes, I would say toughen up. Right? You'll be fine. Toughen we're gonna, up. We're gonna get through. I'm kidding. Eat some Baskin Moms, Robbins. Don't write no, it. I'm we're kidding. kidding. We're we kidding. I mean, we kind like of. the allergies as okay, well. Okay, kind of. Protect um, the children. Yes. Protect the protect children. The <laughs> okay, protect the little ones. Okay. When? Up. Let's see if Kara has updated us. You and these. Um, I'm sorry. I've got to keep finding out. Loving these nope, updates. Nope. She's gone silent on me. Constant contact. I said name, name. We need a name. Okay.